Hello again. If you have been watching my older videos on this channel, you know that I have been developing a DCP-016 emulator. You can see that running here. I wrote this program in C++ and I used the SDL library for input and output and it runs nicely on Linux and mostly also on Windows. And I will keep developing this program, but I also decided to start a new side project as an added challenge. So I programmed a new emulator, completely from scratch. And this time I wrote it in x86 assembly language. And also it is bootable, so you won't need an operating system to run it. You can boot it directly on any modern computer and you will have a DCPU emulator running. Let's have a look at that now. As I have said, this emulator is bootable and we will be using this USB stick to boot it from and this laptop, an IBM ThinkPad, to run the program. So I can insert it into the USB slot and start the computer. It will automatically load this program and run it. And you can see it's showing the DCPU's font, as you all know it. And I have loaded one of my first programs, one which calculates prime numbers. And this emulator is completely spec conformant, so it supports keyboard input, the monitor works completely, and I will show some of the other features in this video. And um, you can also remove the USB drive while it's running because it's loaded in memory and it will keep running. Unfortunately right now this emulator can only load one DCPU program. So if you want to change the program on this you have to create a new drive. I have loaded this USB stick with a keyboard input test program now and I will demonstrate that the keyboard hardware of the DCPU indeed works. So it shows a cursor right now. And as you can see, keyboard input is working. The monitor of this emulator is completely spec conformant, so the font can be remapped and you can do pixel graphics like I have shown in one of my recent videos. So you can remap the font and it works. Those of you familiar with my videos know that I have added a speaker hardware to my emulator and since well um, I tried to make a PC style speaker it was easy to add that hardware to this program too. This is the piano test and make it a little bit louder so you can hear. This uses the PC speaker in a computer if it exists. Unfortunately this only has one channel as opposed to the two channels in my other emulator but it works the same. So you can do music on this program too. I have showed you that every kind of hardware of the DCP works, so I will show you a program which I guess most of you have seen if you are watching this channel. Of course it doesn't sound as good as on the other emulator because this program would use two speakers. And I won't show you the entire thing, 
but you can try it out for yourself if you want to. Being written in assembly and not depending on any operating system, this emulator is quite small. Only 5 kilobytes are used by the emulator binary itself, but the DCPU program, which is 128 kilobytes, uses most of the space. I will provide a download link in the video description, so you can try it in QEMU, which is an emulator program. I used it to develop this without having to test it on the computer all the time. Um, so you can run it there, or if you are feeling brave, you can put it on a USB drive like I have done and try it on a computer. But um, I don't guarantee it's not destroying your computer, so be careful. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making this. Goodbye.